This segment of Coast Life is sponsored by BB Healthcare. Well, it is no question that BB is there for you. You know, the, the small stuff, the yep. big stuff. Oh, yeah. But we do have to focus on the small stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. And maybe you think heartburn is just, oh, it's small. Everyone gets it. But it could lead to, you know, some more difficult problems. It also can be treated. And the good news is we have Dr. Shilly with us, a board-certified gastroenterologist with BB. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Happy to have you. Yeah, because I think when we mention heartburn, Dr. Shilly, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, I have that. Mm -hmm. But first, let's get into what is heartburn and what causes it. Well, heartburn is, it's very interesting. Most people have a good intrinsic concept of what heartburn is. It's a burning sensation that they have on, under their breastbone and that's how they understand heartburn. However, heartburn is actually more complicated than that because when we deal with this as physicians, what we're looking at is reflux, of which heartburn is just one of the symptoms. So some patients may have heartburn and not really feel that they have reflux. Other patients have reflux. They feel like juice is coming into their mouth without really having heartburn. Then there are people who have atypical symptoms like a cough or clearing their throat excessively, or hoarseness, or a variety of other things that we, we don't see that often. But uh, those are patients who have atypical reflux and there's somebody who needs to be helped also. Mm. Interesting, okay, and so there are treatments, there is help if you have reflux. So if someone comes to you and says they have heartburn or acid reflux, what are some steps you tell them to take? Usually we deal with the more complicated patients. Now the patient at home, before they visit the doctor, has a variety of their own remedies. They may buy antacids, you know, over the counter in a mm -hmm. drugstore, or even buy pro so-called proton pump inhibitors, which inhibit the production of acid by the stomach. And these things are effective, but usually by the time they come to see me, they're much more complicated cases. You know, they've already tried different remedies that haven't worked and their symptoms have become a scourge to them that, you know, it's oppressive and they want to have it fixed. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. So BB's uh, Heartburn Center is a self-referral, which is really interesting. Huge, yeah. um, and I think, you know, where is that line for patients who maybe have a more typical case of heartburn versus when they really should come see you? Well, I, I would think that there are several scenarios, okay? And I would break it down into patients who are very symptomatic from the reflux and those patients who may be more likely to have Barrett's esophagus, either now or in the future. And Barrett's esophagus is an abnormal lining of the esophagus that predisposes to the development of esophageal cancer. And it's very interesting to me that because of this connection, We've had really an epidemic of esophageal cancer in the United States recently, oh, wow. which is very, very discouraging. So we have to be very vigilant about these things. Um, so if we want to make an appointment or someone's interested, how can they get in touch with, with you or this Heartburn Center? Well, they, they can actually, the, the Heartburn Center is, I want to clarify yeah. this, it is not a brick and mortar kind of mm -hmm. place. Right. It's kind of like a computing cloud. Cool. And you would call the GI offices at our hospital and you they could plug you into all this. Now, um, and, and that's basically it, you nice. know. In my own practice that I had in Western Pennsylvania, I was very impressed by these patients who were continuously referred back to me with severe heartburn. And you'd make some recommendations and they'd follow them. And then their family doctor would send them back again for another scope mm -hmm. with severe heartburn. And I got interested in this kind of center management there because these poor patients would walk around in a wilderness of pain looking for the promised land. Yeah. And you know, I tried to help them find that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think this is so cool that you have it. Again, self referrals rare, it seems, but the mm -hmm. fact that it is something that BB offers is so cool because we're going to start small, right? You know, again, if you think, oh, I'm just going to take some medicine for heartburn, you just heard it from Dr. Shilly, it can get <laughs> a lot worse. So thank you so much for being here today and telling sure. us about this. Sure. Mm -hmm. Happy to have you and come back anytime. Uh, he's a lot of fun too, so yes. take an appointment with him. <laughs> you are going to be in really good hands. Uh, but coming up, we are uh, talking maybe if you're learning a new language, right? Yes, that's right. And how uh, community volunteers are helping you do that. Very cool.